Indeed, we've managed to find the cubs in a tiny little cave. Look at them. Is that not just the most amazing little thing? They're still wobbly. Hello, little ones. It's good to see you again. That's such a cool little den that she's got here. She is so close to where her kill is. Girl, that's an amazing little den you've got there. Look at that. Isn't that just the most wonderful view of these little cubs? How cute is that? Now, of course, you know, we don't really want to be viewing them too much, but it's impossible not to know where the dens are or where she's kind of keeping them until you sort of stumble into them. Um, her behavior is obviously was kind of led up to the thought of that maybe there is a little den site here, but to have them as far out as that and as mobile as that is so special. Maybe we can even get a little sort of idea as to whether they are males or females. <laughs> that is amazing. Look at that. What a way to come back. James, happy? So happy. <laughs> that is beyond special. Look at that little face to the right. Look at that. That is so amazing. <laughs> That is the cutest little face on the right hand side. Do you see it there? It's so cute. Now, I think these little ones' those eyes are going to be open now, so they will be seeing um, and being able to kind of figure out what's going on. But it gives you an idea of where she's moving. With I'm, I'm very intrigued of how far to the west she's come. She's moved these cubs a long way from the Mulawati. Um, and I think that is indicative for me that Mulawati is more where she's hedging her bet than Tingana. Look at that. That is priceless, as good as it gets in so many respects. Those little things are still dark. <laughs> Look at that. Tiny little spots. Hello, little one, and completely relaxed. Oh, having a little go at mom. We talking. That's just so cool. Wow. And Tandy is being so good about it. She has not growled, she has not hissed, she has not made a single little bit of noise with us being here. I didn't actually know about this particular cave from the side. I said I've walked here before and I've walked over the top and round, but not to that little cave, but it is the most perfect little leopard den. Oh, how amazing. Now the reason we're having a sighting is obviously because we've kind of seen her walking there and you literally came across as she walked down and called them out. Before that she was sort of on top of the bank and she walked down and we thought maybe it was there and we just sort of stopped for a little bit just to see and she obviously came out and the little ones sort of started coming out. But look at how protected and sort of thick and difficult that is to get to. Now James, I'm going to just take my foot off the brake because I've been sitting on the brake a little bit, so I do apologize if there's some creaking and moaning, but my leg is about to fall off with the trembling of excitement and trying to kind of hold the vehicle in place, but we've managed to get the handbrake up now and so should be okay, but those little cubs, even with the creaking of the vehicle, absolutely relaxed, look at that. Now you see where she's licking this cub? Underneath the tail now that triggers the cubs to go to the toilet So I wouldn't be surprised if you actually see this little one move and go urinate um, Often the moms will groom that area and that triggers Urination and, and for the little cubs to learn kind of how to get rid of waste products and obviously defecate and kind of do what they need to do So you often see moms doing that when they first come to their cubs oh, That is so cool Wow It doesn't get any better than that. So 50, you say Tandi is a master of finding great dens. Well, yes, as good as it gets really. Um, she seems to find all the good spots that are very difficult to get to, which is why they kind of work so well. But wow, unbelievable. <laughs> This is so cool. Look at that little thing. Isn't that just wonderful? It's just sitting there, completely non-fussed by us. Kind of looking in our direction, which to me is just the most amazing part of this whole thing because you would think that a little cub of that size 
would be fairly nervous, but you can see it's kind of looking up at us as if to say, what are you guys? Oh, that is amazing. So, so special. James, we're being spoiled today. We sure are. We sure are. Huh? I'm so glad, actually, that James is with me for this because any of you that, well, some of you might not know the story behind Tandy and these cubs. James was the one in the morning that found Tandy the one day and she was going in and out of various little places and almost as though she was looking for a den. And that afternoon, James and I were on drive. He was obviously on his vehicle and I was on mine. And we decided to both go into the area to try and see if we could potentially find these little cubs and try and kind of figure out, you know, what was going on and who was where and if these cubs had been born. And essentially what happened was I went and checked one spot. James went to where he thought they potentially could be. And we ended up in a situation where we managed to find them by, you know, a bit of luck before James did. And so, you know, the fact that James gets to see them now with me here is just that much better. It's so special when you can share the joy of something like this with a colleague. Um, and, you know, and like I say, if there's no one more sort of thoroughly deserving than James in many respects, he's put in many, 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 many hours for Safari Live and a lot of time and energy. And so to see this is just unbelievable. How cool is this? Oh, so, so special. Tandy, you've treated us this afternoon. So Carol, no, this den will be zoned off. Um, cubs are not old enough just yet. Um, so with viewing these cubs, it's often a question we get asked, and there's probably some of you that will be saying, well, why are we here if they're not supposed to be viewed? So if you don't know where dens are, it's impossible to, to know exactly where they're being kept. And so you can't zone off areas, you know, and you can't really know. So when you follow a leopard, if she's happy to take you and you get a sighting of the cubs, in an area then that's okay that's not a problem at all you can view those cubs and then move out of the area and from there they then get zoned and as i was mentioning just now is these cubs you know being a month old tomorrow means that they still got to go a little bit before they can be viewed you normally see leopard cubs being viewed at around eight to twelve weeks depending on the reserve that you, you kind of work in um but my f kind of feeling on these things is often to go and just check a den is pretty pointless a lot of the time if they're at this sort of age when they're very, very small. If they're a little bit older and they're three months or older, then checking dens works. Um, but the dens typically don't stay for very long. I mean, we know in a month this is now the third place that she's using. So it's almost every week she's kind of changing over. And so they don't last for long. So zoning off areas and, and not checking them is, is okay. But eventually she's going to move them and, and you've got to be kind of keep up with where she's going and you can kind of then judge, you know, where the areas are to try and avoid bumping into them. But yes, this will be zoned so no one will be able to come here now for the next few days. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting with such a big impala carcass. Hopefully it's, it actually is probably the best thing needs to be stolen by a, a male leopard who can kind of keep the hyenas busy there rather than her kind of keeping it because hyenas are going to eventually figure out a pattern here um, and while that cave is probably too small for hyenas to get in you know it's obviously a bit of a risk in some respects so still i mean so 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 special uh, it's going to get dark now now anyway so we're going to have to leave them just now but you can see they are fairly chilled that's absolutely amazing how special wow very very cool all right well we're going to just enjoy that last little view of the cuteness before we are going to leave the area and allow her to be in peace. In the meantime, though, let's send you across to Lauren with the hyenas.